The endocrine system uses glands to release chemicals called hormones into the blood. These hormones come from glands that are distributed throughout the entire body. These glands will release chemicals into the blood. Once it's released in the blood, it is then called a hormone. Because hormones have effects on tissues all over the body, the action of that hormone depends on the membrane receptor and the target cell, like testosterone increasing hair production from facial hair follicles or sperm production in the testes. Same hormone, different action, depending on where the cell is and what the cell does. The nervous system and endocrine system are both communication systems within our body, but they differ in a number of ways. The nervous system uses nerves instead of hormones. The nervous system is a hardwired system like a landline telephone. It only communicates what is, it is directly connected to. This allows the nervous system to be much faster than the endocrine system. The endocrine system takes minutes to hours to work while the nervous system is virtually instantaneous. Hormones are classified as either water soluble or lipid soluble. Water soluble hormones have receptors like a docking station that is on the surface of a membrane. These receptors have to be on the outside of the cell because the water-soluble hormones cannot cross the lipid bilayer that makes up the cell membrane. Once the hormone binds with the outer receptor, it starts a chemical cascade called a second messenger system, which causes something to happen within the cell which produces a pre-made product. Lipid-soluble hormones can go right through the cell membrane to connect to the receptor or docking stations inside the cell. Once the hormone binds to the receptor inside the cell, it activates activity within the nucleus to form a brand new product. Water-soluble hormones cause the quick release of pre-made proteins, while lipid-soluble hormones initiate the formation of new proteins. Any protein-based hormone is water-soluble, while any cholesterol-based hormone like sex steroids are lipid-soluble. Here is a summary of the hormones that are classified as water-soluble. The thyroid hormones, epinephrine, norepinephrine, dopamine, melatonin, all the pituitary hormones, and other organ-specific hormones from within the stomach, intestines, pancreas, or kidney, parathyroid hormone, and calcitonin, just to name a few. Here is a summary of hormones that are classified as lipid-soluble. Cholesterol-based steroid hormones are the main ones to focus on in this group. Androgens, estrogens, progesterone. The adrenal cortex produces a number of mineral corticoids and glucocorticoids that are lipid-soluble. The kidney also produces lipid-soluble hormone called calcitriol. There are a number of communicating hormones called eicosanoids, um, communicating mechanisms within the immune system called leukotrienes, and other local control mechanisms.